There are better things to breathe than the fumes of solder. You can buy a fume extractor to remove most of the fumes, but even cheap ones can be out of the price range of a beginner. A simple alternative is to use a cheap fan to blow the fumes away from your face. After upgrading my computer, I was left with a couple of large fans that would be perfect for blowing solder fumes away. Like most PC fans, the fans run on 12 volts. However, they run down to around 3 volts if you want a slower speed. Fans usually have a 3 pin connector. The middle pin is positive, ground is on one side, and on the other side is a tachometer output. The tachometer outputs a number of pulses per fan revolution, which the computer uses to determine the fan speed. Some fans use a 4 pin connector, with the extra pin being used to digitally control the fan speed. I have a spare 24 volt wall adapter that I'll use to power the fan. To lower the voltage to 12 volts that's needed by the fan, I'll use an LM317. The LM317 is an adjustable voltage regulator that uses the external resistors to set the target voltage. I can use a potentiometer as a variable resistor to control the output voltage and adjust the speed of the fan. To make sure I don't exceed 12 volts in the output, I need a 1.16 kilo ohm resistor between the adjust pin and the output. I don't have this value, but I can get close enough with a 1 kilo ohm resistor in series with a 150 ohm resistor. The LM317 dissipates the difference between the input and output voltage as heat. As the fan draws a decent amount of current, and the difference between the input and output voltage is large, the regulator will generate a lot of heat. To avoid damaging the regulator, I need to transfer the heat to the air. An easy way to do this would be to put the regulator in the path of the fan, but I decided to use a small heatsink instead. I cut a rectangle from a piece of plywood to mount the fan on, and used hot glue to secure the fan. I soldered the components to a piece of prototyping board, and used hot glue to mount this next to the fan. A commercial fume extractor would do a much better job, but for a couple of bucks in parts and a spare computer fan, this will be a lot better than nothing. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe if you want to see more stuff like this. It would help me out a lot.